Welcome in a new video of the series How to Dress Vintage Season by Season. Of course, we are talking about fall. Now, of course, the most popular color for autumn are browns and beige and oranges, but I want to talk about another range of colors. Navy blue, red and mustard. Let's start with dresses. The first one is my shirt waist dress with birds. I already showed you a short waist dress in my video 20 essential item, that one was sleeveless, this one has a short sleeve because I use it mostly in autumn, so short sleeves are more appropriate. The second dress also has a short sleeve but has a high neck with a decorative bow. The last dress has three quarter sleeves but leaves the cleavage more uncovered because it has an earth shaped neckline with decorative buttons. I don't know exactly why this range of colors make me think about autumn, but let me know if you have the same feeling. Anyway, with all those dresses, you should wear a petticoat underneath and... In autumn, I mostly use my red one. And now let's stop talking about dresses and also let's come back to a more usual range of color for this season. For this video, I chose my vintage skirt uh, it's from around the 70s or 80s and uh, it's a pleated skirt with uh, this beige and orange brown I don't know, I think it really recalls the foliage and of course, other than skirts, you will need some good jeans I always use high waist jeans and in autumn I prefer darker colors like this one. If you already saw the other videos about the other season, you may have noticed that I use jeans mostly in autumn and spring because I think that they are not warm enough for winter and too warm for summer. So even if they are a must in a vintage inspired wardrobe, I mostly use them in the middle seasons. I paired both jeans and skirts with short sleeve t-shirts, but I choose ones with decorative necklines like Peter Pan collars or bows that can pop out from the cardigans. Because of course cardigans are another must for fall season and you should have them in a different weight like light with three quarter sleeve and cropped, more classical with long sleeves and maybe also some winter pullover because it can be very cold. For all the clothes that I showed you, black shoes, belts and bags are okay, but since it's autumn I prefer brown leather accessories like these cowboy looking boots or these shoes. They both have a square heel so they are safe to walk in even if the floor is wet or maybe there are some leaves that make it slippery. And then my brown leather bag. This one is from uh, um, an Italian brand called Dionigi and it's pretty big because it needs to contain a lot of stuff. Sunglasses, a light scarf and maybe a little umbrella. And other than all the other stuff like wallet, phone, tissues, it can also fit a light cardigan. Now it's very heavy, but it contains everything you may need in every kind of weather. About jewelry, I prefer the bronze stone ones with the stones that resemble amber. And about air accessories, I use also in autumn flowers, but I prefer the brown ones. And I use headbands. I like them even if they give me a bit of headache because they help my hair stay in place in windy days. And then let's talk about jackets. This one is brown since all my accessories are brown and it's pretty light. But I also have this aviator style jacket, warm enough for cold days in autumn. And I don't know, reminds me about Amelia Herhart. 
so I like it. Now, the video could end here, but maybe you have spot something pink down there, and that's my Halloween stuff. I have those little gloves that I made myself. There's a tutorial both on YouTube and IGTV, if you like to make them for yourself too. And also made by myself, this pink cardigan with a web and a spider brooch. I like pink Halloween. Now, the video can truly end. I hope you like it. I hope you liked all the series. Maybe there will be other episodes about swimsuits or coats or uh, I don't know, some other stuff that I didn't treat uh, with uh, enough care in uh, these videos. So leave me a comment to tell me what you like to see and see you in the next video. Bye.